Hello friends, welcome back. My name is PK. In this video, I will explain you how we have created marketing dashboard in Microsoft Excel. As you are seeing my screen, this is the overview page of this marketing dashboard wherein we are showing the total budget, total spend, total revenue, conversion rate and return on investment percentage. We have given the several slicers also on the left hand side and the right hand side like year, month, campaign type and the channel. And here we have given the slicer for campaign manager, campaign name. You can just click on any month to see the data for the particular month. The whole dashboard will be filtered accordingly. Or you can select the campaign type or any slicer value automatically it will be filtered. And here we are showing the number of campaign by the campaign type. So you can see the number of campaign by the campaign type. And this is the number of campaign by the channel. And here we are showing the number of campaign by the campaign manager. Now the next one is the budget and spend. So if you click here, it will take you to the budget and spend page, wherein we are showing the same slicer, but we are showing the comparison of the budget and the spend by the campaign type. So you can easily see that compare comparison and here the total budget and spend type by channel and this is the total budget and spend by man campaign manager. The next one is the engagement matrix wherein we are showing the CTR click through rate percentage by the campaign and this is CTR by the channel and this is CTR by the campaign manager. This is conversion and revenue matrix and we are showing the conversion rate by the campaign type, return on investment percentage by the channel and the conversion rate by campaign manager. Here we are showing the campaigns which are at risk. So we are showing the return on investment percentage for the bottom 10 campaigns. So you can see we have very less ROI here. And here we have very less conversion rate. So basically these are bottom 10. So you can revisit those campaigns and you can see what is happening wrong with these campaigns. Okay. So this is what we have displayed in this marketing dashboard to quick analysis. Now I will show you the data and I will show you how we have created this. To see the data, you have to enable the C tabs. So you can just go to the file options. Go to the advanced and just scroll it down. Here display option for this workbook and just check this. Click on OK. We can see the various seats here. You can go to the one by one seat. So this is the data. Now let me explain you the data. Here we have the campaign ID. This is the campaign name. This is the campaign type, channel, start date, end date budget spend impression click conversions revenue and this is the campaign manager and we have created two calculated column also using the formula that is month and year on the basis of start date now i will show you the support sheet also wherein we have created various pivot tables using this data this is a table you can see the name of the table is the data now using this we have created here support sheet and on the support sheet, we are showing the total budget here, then total spend. This is the total revenue. This is the conversion rate. So conversion rate, we have created a calculated field. If I come to the pivot table, analyze, go to the calculated field and you can see that here we have the conversion rate. We have created three calculated field. Let me show you the formulas. Conversion rate, we can see here conversions divided by clicks. Okay, so we have in our data conversion and click. So on the basis of that, we have created this CTR, which is click through rate, clicks divided by impression. ROI we have displayed here that is revenue minus spend divided by spend. Okay, so this is the formula to calculate the ROI percentage. 
If you want to learn more about the pivot table and the dashboard and the charts, you can join our Udemy courses. We have given the link in the video's description box. In our course, we have explained each and everything from the scratch, how you can create the calculated field, how you can create the pivot table and how you can customize the pivot table. Then using the pivot table, how you can create the advanced level of the charts as well as the dashboard. So you can join our course if you want to learn more about the data analysis, pivot tables and charts and dashboards. The link is given in the video's description box. Now once we have created these uh, three calculated field, now we are using these calculated field inside the pivot table. So here we are showing only conversion rate. If I show you the pivot field, you can see this is the only conversion rate. Then here we are showing the ROI percentage. And now here we are showing the campaign type and the count of the campaign. Count of the campaign we are taking basically count of the campaign ID. Here we are taking the count of campaign ID. Let me go to the value field setting and you can see we are taking the count here. And if I take the mouse here, then you can see it is coming from this. Or you can see the source name here, campaign ID, okay, on the top. So you can rename the field in the pivot table also. Now here we are showing the campaign manager by the number of campaign. This is another pivot table. The number of uh, here we are showing the channel wise number of campaigns. So this is for the first page which is overview page. So we have put here one separator here. So this is for the overview page. Now we, ha we have come to the budget and spend analysis page wherein we are showing the campaign type by total budget versus spend. Now I will show you here you can see we are taking some specific number formatting. If you see here we have different number the big number right. So whenever you have a bigger number you can show them into the million thousand or the normal hundreds. How you can do that I will show you. So here we have used the specific number format, this one. Now let me explain you how this number format will work. For example, if you have here one number that is 1000, okay, and you apply this here, then press Control 1, Custom, and let's paste this here, and okay. So it will show 1.0k or if you type here let's say only 98 so this is normal 98 dollar or you have put here let's say 766 so this is also not normal one but as it will go more than 1000 even triple nine will work normally and if you put here more than 1000 it will take like 1.2k okay and if you add little bigger number then it will come in the million if it is in million if you remove one then it it is still in thousand right let's add one more zero here this is in million okay and if you add more then this is in million so we have added this custom formatting in the pivot table also the benefit of this formatting is you don't need to display the bigger number okay and easily they can be displayed on the chart data label and you can user also can read it properly like this is in million or in the thousand so according to the number it will take the million thousand hundreds automatically okay the same thing we have done here also this is the campaign type wise this is the channel wise this is the campaign manager wise budget versus spend now here we are taking the campaign type by ctr ctr we have already created so we are taking here campaign type wise CTR okay this is the another page engagement matrix okay you can see the page name here and this is the channel wise CTR this is the campaign manager wise CTR here we are showing the campaign type wise conversion rate this is the channel wise ROI percentage and here we are showing the campaign manager wise conversion rate now in the last we are showing here two pivot tables that is campaign name by ROI, campaign name by conversion rate. Then we have sorted this data into the smallest to largest. Okay. And after that we have put here one filter. So we have applied this filter that was the value filter and we have taken top 10. 
now from here in place of top we have selected bottom and we have taken 10 you can change this number also like 5 7 8 or 20 and then by ROI and just click on OK then it will show only 10 otherwise if you make this filter clear it will show all in that case if you come to this one the chart will not look good okay here it is uh, not updating yeah you can see chart is updated it is not looking good so what we have done we have just showing here bottom 10 right just take here bottom 10 click on okay so it is bottom 10 now if i come here it is showing the bottom 10 all right so that is how we have created uh, these two pivot tables and the other pivot tables now i will show you how you can create the charts also so to create the chart or to create the cards first on the top we just have use equal to for example if you if i have this seat then simply i can insert the normal rectangle here this is what we have done right and then you can go to the view and check the grid lines and here you can add the text box let's say i'm taking here some different color light color or white color whatever you want then you can simply insert from here text box just drag the text box here click on the border of the text box go to the formula bar press equal to and then come to the support seat okay so for the overview cards we have created the pivot in the starting so let's say i want to show the budget so i will simply click here and just enter so it is taking the budget if that budget will be changed then automatically this number will be changed now you can remove the shape outline from here or you can remove the shape fill from here you can format this as you want like i want to increase the font size make this bold whatever you want and similarly you can show the other cards also so this is what we have done here you can change the font color also and we have created various boxes here similarly for the charts also to create the chart you can come to the support seat so now let's say for this chart i want to create a donut chart just click here insert and you can insert a donut chart this one once you insert the donut chart then you can uh, remove these extra things so you can go to the pivot chart analyze field buttons just say hide all okay so then you can change the uh, formatting of this chart this is like a normal chart now format data series and here you can change the whole size let's say i want to take 85 percent and you can change the colors also for each slice just double click on the first slice let's say i want to take some different color let's say this color or you can take any other color like this you can change this right click add the data labels so you can see the data labels are available you can move the data label outside of the donut like this now just select the data label and right click go to the format data label and here you can show the category name in that case we don't need this legion so we can say go to this plus button and uncheck the lead legions okay so that is how we have created the charts there then you can move this chart on any specific seat which wherever you want to create the slicer you can just insert and you can uh, go to the slicers here and whatever slicer you want to insert let's say i want to insert the slicer for channel and you can check the other one also let's say month year whatever you want so i have taken this one now we can cut this slicer and we can move to any seat wherever you want let's say i want to move this to this new seat okay so we have moved this here so like uh, this you can cut and move and here you can change the columns also let's say i want to take two columns and here i want to take two column and here i want to take three column okay so you can adjust then you can place the slicer this is what we have done here we have placed these slicers here and uh, then you can change the style of the slicer so just come to the slicer by default we have here a lot of styles you can see but you can create your own style also for example i want to create the style on the basis of this one so you can just right click and make it duplicate 
for the whole slicer go to the format and let's say i want to take uh, none border so just click on this none and then selected item with the data go to the format and i'll say go to the fill fill effects and i want to take some different color let's say this one and i want to take uh, this one and just take this variant you can choose any color i'm just uh, explaining you how we have created font should be white which is already there then just select the unselected item with data format fill let's say i want to take this light green color click on okay okay so we have created that style is appearing here this one just click on that so that style will be applied just select the other slicer slicers and you can apply this style if you want to learn more about the slicers timeline custom style of the pivot table custom style of the slicers charts anything about the data analysis charts pivot table you can join our course we have given everything as well as you can download the every practice file uh, course link is given in the video description box friends i hope you have enjoyed this video if you like this video please hit the like button and please subscribe my channel to get the regular update of my videos thank you so much for the watching